This is a potential divider experiment using a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. The setup is we have our supply voltage provided by the cells here. They're in series with our NTC thermistor and a fixed resistor. In parallel across the fixed resistor we have a voltmeter that will be reading our voltage output for our potential divider. I'm going to turn it on now and the voltage across the fixed resistor is about 2.77 volts with some minor fluctuations. What I'll do now is increase the temperature of the thermistor. So because it's a negative temperature coefficient thermistor, as I'm increasing the temperature, its resistance is decreasing. We can see the voltage output is increasing here. So it's about three, just under 3.2 volts at the moment. And if I allow the thermistor to cool down by taking my fingers off it, that voltage will start to drop and head back to about 2.77 volts. So why does this happen? When I increase the temperature of the thermistor, its resistance decreases. And that means its share of the voltage from the supply decreases. And therefore, the voltage across the fixed resistor must increase so that the total voltage remains constant. And that's what, why we saw the voltage increasing here. When I allowed it to cool down, the temperature of the thermistor was decreasing, so its resistance was increasing. And that meant its share of the voltage had to increase also. Again, for the total voltage to remain constant, the voltage across the fixed resistor had to decrease as the voltage across the thermistor increased.